1 Thessalonians 5, 12 through 13 says, Dear brothers and sisters, honor those who are your leaders in the Lord's work. They work hard among you and give you spiritual guidance. Show them great respect and wholehearted love because of their work. Three words that make me think of Stephen. First word that I think of is loud. Second word is God loving. Third word is loyal. Really loud energy. Hey, what's up? Loud. Energetic. Sincere. <laughs> He's funny. Um, and he has the biggest heart of anybody. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Smooth dance moves. Crazy, energetic, and a man after God's own heart. Harder. I think he needs to shave. <laughs> he looked like a Taliban. Stephen and Amanda are the bright spots in the week, and Stephen is loving and kind and uh, has empathy for people, and I know that he's real. Uh, when he shows emotion, it's real. And when he says something, it's real. And the same goes for Amanda. And uh, Benjamin, what can you say? He's Benjamin. Well, Stephen, I'll start by saying thank you, number one. Uh, you've really led me in this Christian life. I've got a long way to go, but with your guidance, uh, like I told you before, your sermons every week stay with me two or three days, and I think about them. And uh, you've had a really, really strong impact on my life since I've been involved in this church. So you, along with Mandy, who is also your helper in this journey, uh, without a strong woman, it's hard to do your job. So Mandy, for that, I want to thank you for supporting your husband the way you do, and the church. And like I always told you, Steve, I love you like a real son, and I mean that. Oh, I can't. It'd take me an hour to describe that. I mean, I mean, Stephen's just been an amazing friend. Uh, I've struggled with some of that in my whole life. Uh, they've invited me into their home. You know, I've eaten dinner with them. Um, I've always been able just to call them, you know, when I have issues or anything. And that's, that's been a major part of my life. You know, I just, I mean, I can't describe the friendship, you know, he's just been there for me, and I'm very appreciative of that. Just showing us the love of Jesus. Yeah, very caring. Always, yes. always willing to be there and go the extra mile to, to help you out with anything you need. Well, for the first time in our lives, I feel very comfortable in a church setting. I feel like I want to do more, and it's because of Steve and, and just the way he carries himself. The way he, he just constantly with Christ, everything he does and everything he says, he always has Christ on his heart, and that's uh, very touching. I feel really loved, a lot of love, a lot of love, more love. This is the first time I've felt so much love in my life forever. Well, I think I've definitely gotten into the Bible, into the Word more than I had been. Uh, I love Mandy's quiet strength. She has just beyond believable strength and is so quiet about it, but you just see it in her. It, it's, it's there and it's, it's beautiful. They've been very encouraging in my in my development as a Christian since I graduated college even before. Um, Steve helped me out when I was in college and I needed an internship. He let me come here and do it and um, fell in love with the youth then. And they just, no matter what's going on, he's always there. Like, he'll take time out just to talk to you and so will Mandy. Like, they just, 
they just spend time with you. They show that they care. They are the true meaning of pastors. They blessed us immensely. Shown me how to love and how to serve. Uh, Stephen, like I said, was the one that got me here at, at Creekside uh, through uh, the gym and uh, invited me and in, invited me and invited me to come to the men's group and to church and I finally accepted his invitation and I'm so glad to be here. And and Mandy is is really the the driving force behind Stephen. Behind every good man is a good woman. And and Mandy is that person and more. Stephen's awesome. His love of God is awesome and uh, his passion and his spirit is just incredible. And we've <clears throat> grown to love both of them a tremendous amount. And Benjamin, it's just awesome for them to be a part of our lives. And uh, we love them dearly. I'll start with the Benjamin part. His smile just brings such joy. And for him to run up and want me to hug him just means so much to me and it's the same with his mom and dad to know that no matter how I feel they are going to give me a hug and make me feel loved and cared about and watched over and I am just so thankful for their involvement in our lives and being able to share good times and bad times with them. As a congregation we tried the best that I think we could to express uh, how much you guys love, or how much love we have for you guys, and how much we appreciate you, although I don't think there's a length of video or any amount of words that could express um, the gratitude and the sincerity of our love that we have. We love you guys. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and are blessed throughout the new year. We pray God's blessing over you and your family in Jesus' name. So, I love Steve. Love you. Thank you for changing my life when I first met you. I just wish him all the, the blessings God has for him and his family. I would thank them for all the work that they do and for making our family always feel more than welcome. Thank you for the example that you have set before us to follow and we just look forward to many, many more years of doing the Lord's work alongside you guys. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry we love Christmas. You.